everybody, Coach Hopper here. Welcome to another Tack Fit online subscription session. Today we're going to be getting into a moderate club bell workout, single arm. But before we do, let's go ahead and get warmed up and mobilized. Let's start off with our hips over our midfoot, shoulders over the hips. Nice tall crown to coccyx alignment. Inhale through the nose. Expand the stomach. Exhale through the mouth. Shake out residual tension. And start with the neck left and right, shoulders down out of the ears, making sure that we are taking relaxing, calm breaths in through the nose, out through the mouth. Explore our range of motion, center up, up and down, flexion extension. <clears throat> our daily assessment of our joints and soft tissue. Try to go right below any kind of discomfort or pain. We want to continue to mobilize right up to that limit. Now we're going to center up and we're going to go forward and back. Tuck your chin, push your back of your head back to the wall. Good. Now we're going to go side to side, putting our ear to the wall like we're listening to a conversation on the other side. Nice, smooth movement, eyes on the horizon. Try not to rotate, try not to side bend. Very good. Now we're going to tuck the chin, go to the left, up, cross the right, down, left, up, right, down, left, up. Right and reverse. Left, down, cross, up, left, down, right, up, right, sorry, left, down, right, and right back to center. I'm gonna start off with a Tai Chi twist. One hand goes to the shoulder, the other one small of the back. Trailing foot lifts to accommodate the twist. Inhale. Center up, place your hands out, tuck your tailbone and squeeze your glutes. We're gonna lift up and over and back. Other side. Look at the hand as it goes to the back. Rotate the palm, the thumb down as you do that. Now we're gonna open up, squeeze the glutes, don't let the hips move. Open, close, open. Hands together, shoulder roll forward. Nice and loose, no effort from the trap. And reverse. And shake it out. So from now, from, from right there, we're gonna go right down into our mid spine. Left and right, squeeze the glutes. You're going up and to the left, up and to the right. Put your hands here, you can put your hands here wherever you want, as long as you understand the motion and you're not side bending, you're not rotating. Pure movement side to side in the transverse plane. Here we go. Now, we're going to lift and tuck the tailbone. Inhale, lift, exhale, tuck. You're good. Now we're gonna take our hips, go into our side hip root. Load the tie side tissue, load it, reach, inhale, ex exhale as you come up, squeezing the quads, the glutes, and the core. Inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, 
Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Now a regular hinge. We're going to bring the hands up. Activate the lower back. We're going to hinge back. And then come up. Inhale. So much force, I almost threw myself backward. Very good, shake it out. Hip circle, using that pelvic tilt that we did with the low spine. I'm gonna load that side tissue, drive that hip forward, tuck the tailbone in the front, load the side tissue again, lift in the back. Load, tuck, load, lift, load, tuck, load, lift, and reverse, load. Tuck, load, lift, load, tuck, load, lift. Very good. You get into a little bit of leg swinging. <clears throat> I'm gonna go side to side, so in front and back first, and then the other leg. So front to the side, back to the side. Keep that breathing nice and calm. It's gonna challenge your balance. If you need to hold on to something like I'm doing right now, that's completely fine. But you always want to challenge your balance, open up those toes, making sure you have a nice, uh, nice wide base on your toes or on your foot. Other side. Inhale, exhale. It's not about how high you can get your leg. It's about keeping your structure and mobilizing that joint, activating that tissue on the outside of the joint. Very good. Let's go up to the upper and the appendages. We're gonna go right into the shoulder screw with a uh, hip root. So I'm gonna rotate my shoulder in, squeeze, palm comes up, other side's tall as well, and I'm gonna go into my hip root. Pull it out, rotate it in, and rotate. double hitchhikers. Elbows up high, shoulder level. I'm gonna pull my elbows in flexion, rotate out, try to get my elbows to touch as I drive outward. Press, rotate, pull. Press, rotate, pull. Give your biceps a little squeeze as you pull in and the triceps a little press as you press out. Activate those tissues. Or you can just completely be no effort and relax and uh, mobilize the joint itself. And reverse. Push, rotate, pull. Push, rotate, pull. Push, rotate, pull. And shake them out. Wrists in a circle. Using your wrist, the end of your wrist here as the moving point around your knuckles, not your knuckles moving around in a circle. So I'm moving my wrists around in a circle versus solely looking at my knuckles. And other direction. <sighs> nice big breaths. Which brings us to our finger waves, palm up, and I go from my pinky all the way to my index closed fist. And I'm gonna open them big and wide, rotate, Index finger to close fist. Rotate pinky to close fist. Rotate index to close fist. Squeeze, open, pinky, open, index, open, pinky, open, index, and shake it out. Now, <clears throat> we're gonna get a little bit more into the hips. We're gonna do the hip hurdlers. So I'm gonna stand shoulder width, rotate one of my legs internally, Post the other one, stand tall. I'm going to lift my, uh, flex my knee, heel to heel to heel to putt, toes to shin. Lift the knee up and out. 
stand heel to heel, and then we're gonna reverse it. Same thing, heel to butt, toes to shin, lift, rotate in, lift, rotate out, lift, rotate in. Try not to break your posture of your hips as you're lifting your leg and your knee. And switch sides, internally rotate, heel to butt, toes to shin, lift the knee up and around, and back. Good, and shake it out. Now we're getting down to the knees. Fairly basic knee uh, mobilization, warm up, and activation of the quads. We stand a little bit closer together, and we're gonna rotate, pushing the knees far over the toes. Hands are resting here, not pushing. Rotate up tall, squeeze the quads. Let's do that three times. One, five times, three, two more, and Five and reverse. Squeeze. And shake it out. Ankle boxes. Challenge your balance here. We're gonna go up, across, down, across, up, across, down, across. Do about three rounds and then switch directions. Open up those toes nice and wide on the base foot and switch. Make sure you get three to five reps both directions, whatever your body needs. Switch. Try to make it a point to not move your leg too much. <clears throat> Very good. Now we're gonna get, tuck those toes underneath. A little bit of plantar flexion, side to side with it. Mobilize it here and switch. Side to side. And shake it out. I'm mo feeling mobilized and ready to go. Let's get the protocol broken down. The movement's clarified so we can get to work. Let's go. What's up, everybody? Let's get this protocol broken down and the movement's clarified so we can get to work <laughs> and get it done. Today we're doing a 90-30 times five by two, so meaning we're gonna be working for 90 seconds. We're gonna be resting for 30 seconds, and we're gonna do that pattern five times. After that fifth round of 90-30, it's gonna circle right back around, and we're gonna do second set of the five exercises. So with that being said, the first exercise is the single arm cast. I grab the bell. I pull it up in the order position. For 45 seconds, I'm going to arm cast. Forty-five seconds, I will switch my arm and do the same thing. Forty-five seconds each side. I'll let you know. There will be an audible. So the next one is the one-handed technical front swipe. So again, I get the bell into my ready position to swing. Swing, catch, cast, back down. Making sure that we stop in the order position and we stop at the order position on the way down. Signifying it as technical, All right? So 45 seconds one side, 45 seconds other side. For the third exercise is the technical mill. Same thing, if the word is technical, that means we want you to stop in each one of those positions to maintain control and show that you are stable and in control of the bell. So now, it's gonna be a cross swing. Come up, cast, stop. Hook, cast, stop. Forty-five seconds one side, forty-five seconds on the other side. So for the fourth movement is going to be the low hammer, but this one's two-handed. I 
start right here in the middle. I rotate to one side. I extend and I catch. Making sure that my knee doesn't go inside toward my midline. We want that knee to be torquing out and hip rooting to that side, whatever side you are rotating to. At 45 seconds, we will switch our grip and switch the direction of our swing. For the last one, it's gonna be the floor press. We're gonna get down on the ground. We're gonna bridge up. We're gonna press. Forty-five seconds, and then we switch the bell to the opposite side. So we're going to have the heavy part on one side. Forty-five seconds, we will switch. Have the heavy part on the other side. After that, right back around for our second flight of all five exercises. So that is it. We are ready to go. I hope you are too. Let's get it done. Let's go. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, the time has come for us to earn the reps and get the work done. I'm gonna set my attack for timer. Right now, we're gonna have 15 seconds until the buzzer that signifies the beginning of the first round. We got 90, 30, five times. The first one is the arm cast, single arm. Here we go, four, three, two, one, and go. And halfway, shoulder the bell, switch sides. Inhale up, exhale down. And break. Put the bell down, shake out your hand. We only have 30 seconds. Extend, extend, flex, flex. Extend, extend, flex, flex. 15 seconds, inhale, inhale through the nose, out the mouth. Exhale. Long and deep controlled exhales. All right, we have a single arm front, technical front swipe. Three, two, one. And go. Two casts in a row. Catch. Catch. Way. Switch and go.
three, two, one, and break. Shake out your hands, do your finger waves, pinkies and index, shake them out, 15 seconds. Now we have our technical windmill. Remember to stop at both order positions, inside and outside. Five seconds, here we go. Three, two, one, and go. Halfway switch. Three, two, one, and break. <sighs> extend, inhale, extend, inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale. Check them out, 10 seconds, low hammer. Okay, whatever way you push out, let that be the opposite direction of the hand on the handle. Okay. Press out. Catch. Rotate. Make sure your hips are rotating side to side. Small little hip root. You're leaning away from the bell as it goes down toward your feet. And switch sides. I totally missed the call. Here we go. Keep your feet from moving. Breathing nice and calm. Inhale through the nose, expand the belly. Exhale long and deep through the mouth, controlled. The big exhale, pulling the belly in. Belly breathe, diaphragmatic breathe. We got five seconds, let's set up. Three, two, one, bridge and go. Refrain from your elbows, flaring way out. Keep them packed, like shoulder pack, right by your side. Hips up, even.
that switch. Five seconds. And break. Thirty seconds. Right back to our single arm cast. I know it's a bit of a burner doing the first two almost the same cast. But it's sort of a warm up for the swipe. Here we go, five seconds. Let's do it. And go. It's also a good opportunity to practice your intelligent grip. Halfway switch. the front technical swipe single-handed. <sighs> 13, 12, 11, 10 seconds, shake out those hands. Here we go. Six, five, set up. Four, three, two, one, and go. Switch sides. Use your other hand to mimic as if you had a belt or you can just keep it nice and sound on your chest, whatever works for you, and break. Right, the technical hammer. Lots of casting today. Last week, 
a lot of heavy on, heavier on the legs this week, heavier on the upper body. It's only right. Here we go, setting up for the technical mill. Here we go, three, two, one, and go. Don't forget that hip root side to side. Knee stays outward, torquing the ground. Feet don't move. noise lots of commotion but that's not derailing us we're still getting the work done and earning all the reps we have our low hammer next this is our second to last movement before we end this session put a bow on it for the movement part here we go five four three two one and go Spine nice and tall, arms either arm lock at 90 degrees or full extension. Again, we're switching sides, the heavier point of the bell. One side, 45, switch around to the other side for the following 45. Here we go. We got five seconds, let's set up. Get into our bridge. Two, one, and press. switch 
Try to switch not in front of your face. And break. That, my friends, is how you do it. Let's take the next 30 seconds to a minute. Shake out our grips. Rock into my heels. Take a nice big breath in through the nose. Expand the belly. Exhale long and deep. Control through the mouth. Draw that belly in toward the spine. Excuse me, pardon me. Now, as we inhale, we are going to extend our wrists, extend the elbows, extend the arms, inhale. And we start to flex, flex the wrists, elbow, and the shoulders, and exhale. Again, inhale. Exhale. One more time. Inhale. Exhale. Shake it out. Excellent work. One of my favorite protocols with one of my favorite tools, my favorite movements. As always, let's get our uh, let's get let's get our active recovery on right now. Let's begin that process with our decompression. Follow me, let's go. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, that is how we do it. Let's start the decompression. Get everything nice and released from what we just turned on right now. A lot of arm heavy stuff, a lot of hip heavy stuff. So let's set our timer and make sure we are on time. So we're gonna make our way down to the ground. Inhale through the nose. Extend and flex, exhale, roll, roll down every one of your vertebrae. Envision every one of your vertebrae moving one at a time until your hands hit the floor, until you come to your kneeling position. I'm gonna turn my hands backward, opening the fingers as wide as possible. I'm gonna pack my shoulders down tight. I'm gonna find one leg, point my Heel to the ground, toes to the shin, tuck my tailbone, squeeze my glute. Now I'm going to engage my core. And finally, find the other leg. Tuck your tailbone, squeeze your glutes, inhale. Exhale, pack your shoulders, push your palms into the ground and heels to the ground. Next breath, go ahead and release your knees to the floor. Walk your knees toward your hands. If you can, sit on your feet and continue to stretch for another 10 seconds. Five breaths. In through the nose, belly breath, out through the mouth.
position, release our abs, get some extension of the spine. So I'm going to go into my hollow body push-up plank position. I'm going to drop my hips as I squeeze my glutes tight. I'm going to relax my back feet. My back feet. I'm going to relax my feet. So as I keep the contraction of my glutes very strong, squeezing as I inhale, as I exhale, I push the floor away, shoulders come down, and my chest goes up as my abs engage and <clears throat> stretch from the tightness as I pull my chest up to the sky as I exhale. Continue to belly breathe in. This is going to help stretch the abs as you breathe. butt squeezed to protect your low back. The next exhale, push it back. I'm going to open up the, the legs a little bit. I'm going to round my back, tuck my tailbone, and I'll pack my shoulders. I'm going to reach my arms out as I do this. Sleeping warrior. Continue to inhale, tuck your tailbone round your back, pack your shoulders, exhale, reach forward. slowly start to walk your hands back under you. From here we're going to go into a pigeon pose or a modified pigeon which is a 90-90 where you get into our you could either go straight into the pigeon if you have the prerequisites to do that if not you can go into the shin box which is another form of modified pigeon. What I want to do is take it between the progression and the most regressed form. I'm gonna go right in the middle, open up my legs, my knees and thighs are at 90 degrees both. I'm gonna grab my ankle, push down on my, my knee. I'm gonna inhale, I'm gonna push my knee into the ground. I'm gonna exhale, I'm gonna pull myself forward with a tall spine, pull my chest toward my foot, my front foot. And I'm just gonna breathe. If you can nasal breathe, by all means, that's great. Keep the breathing nice and calm to where you can just completely get into those muscles and decompress them from our movement today. Just try not to round your back. And keep your structure of your back. On the next breath, go ahead and switch. You can close your shin box and switch if you want. Or if you're in the pigeon, you can just switch by doing a plank and switching your legs. Again, both hands on the ankle, elbow to the knee. Inhale, push the knee down. Exhale, draw the chin forward like I'm gonna put my chest on my foot. Should feel a nice outer glute, possibly adductor, hamstring if it's tight. <sighs> Lean forward, tall spine without relaxing. This is a low intensity modality that we're doing here, so there still is effort. Your heart rate still can be up a little bit. We're holding our structure while we are in these positions. There is 
still a low amount of effort. Don't forget to continue to belly breathe. Belly, breathe, belly breathing is a com common theme throughout the whole session from the warm up to the decompression at the end. Helps control your heart rate in the time of stress or under the load and also to help relax the muscles when there are no stress and load. Next exhale, go ahead and close that shin box. Come to your quadruped position and then we're gonna go all the way prone for our floor scorpion. Get a little twist in there. So I'm gonna take my left arm, push it out take my right arm and post it. I'm gonna look to my right. I'm gonna lift my right leg by the glute engagement, not through my low back. Straight leg, squeeze the glute. Heel to butt, toe to shin. Push, pack the shoulder. And as I inhale, I tuck my tailbone, squeeze my glute. Exhale, I lift and rotate out and try to get my toe to the mat. Try to keep your head aligned with your spine. If you want to get more chest uh, extent, uh, uh, attention, you can bend your arm at 90, bend your elbow at 90 and continue to inhale, drive your glute, exhale, lift and rotate. In the next breath, go ahead and relax and turn to center. And we're gonna switch. Right arm goes out, left arm comes up. Lifting the left leg by the glute, squeeze. Uh, knee flexion, external rotation on the exhale. Don't forget the inhale and the squeeze of the glute driving the hip. Continue to use that front hand to push in and deeper into your shoulder and chest muscle release. Sounds like someone's playing musical chairs up there. Next breath, slowly release back to the center. Make your way up to your knees. I'm gonna bow for respect to you. I'm gonna find my hands on the floor. Hips up to the sky, walk my feet to my hands. Rack your, your sternum, your ribs on your knees and hang a little bit. Roll slowly up each vertebra one at a time until your head comes up last. Whoosh. Thanks again for joining us for this week's Tax Fair Online Subscription Club Health Session. I hope you had a great time. I hope you learned something. And I hope you'll join us for the next one. Until then, Let's go.